great big hello and welcome to everyone. And again, Happy New Year. We're still just beginning the new year, four days into it. A lot of news coming up in the States, January 6th, the big date that everyone's going to be watching for, Washington, D.C. Um, Eratosthenes creator here, Copernicus creator. Let's go back to 2016 in October and I'll post the link of the original video where I was talking about the moon and water coming down from the polar regions many years back. Check it out, 216. Changing temperatures from minus 275 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Could we see any of the ice on the moon melt? So red brackets show the pipe, massive pipe. The green brackets, you can see several pipes sticking outwards and white surface underneath the pipes. Is there a substance coming out of these pipes? Look at the top part of the moon. All along the edge, you see a white like trace or tunnel coming down. These are tunnels or pipes with some liquid or something coming out of it. Can there be liquid on the moon? I have no idea. It's not on the dark side of the moon. It's on this side. The side is apparent to Earth. Could it be? It almost looks like the pipes are coming and leading from the, the polar polarist part of the moon, the cold part. Remember that large object uh, going down towards the moon, spiraling down towards the moon, catching on fire? There it is before it catches on fire. Notice something happening. Okay, I turn the image around. So the right, the moon's on the right. That's where it's going towards, it's, which is downwards. What happens to this object? Something wrong. <laughs> What's in front of the object as it's descending? Here it is before it catches on fire. And there, a flame, very pronounced, straight jet flame comes out the end as it's approaching the moon, like, I repeat, like it was a NASA literal rocket landing, right? Same way the rocket lands, um, SpaceX, when they come back and they land on the platforms, they have that thrust of energy that comes out to control them and guide them and, and align them straight so that they land straight on the platform just wanted to mention that we looked at it really really close it's an amazing object going down towards the moon that we see actually changing shape and forms as it's going down igniting catching on fire possibly smoking up as it's entering the atmosphere of the moon and uh, crashes into the surface of the moon i've captured airplanes going in front of the sun many a times it actually does look like they're going through the sun but Here's an object that's on fire, has a rocket on it, flame, you'll see it, there it is, pronounced, and then towards the sun or in front of the sun, whatever, really looks like a plane, doesn't it, right? But in reality, just showing it, there's a rocket on it. Where's that spy plane that NASA's been um, having going around up there in space for a year or two? Where do you think it's been? <laughs> has it been near the sun? Who knows, right? Let's head to our moon. It is our moon. Well, no, maybe not. Uh, what are we looking at? I really want to show you three lights that are simultaneously following themselves together. Check it out. But first, we're going to check out these. That's right. There, there are not three here. We're going to see it with a purple filter um, right after um, these uh, UFOs. Not the same area either. Check it out. We see UFOs coming into the screen, going by, which obviously I did not see or pick up on. I mean, it's near impossible to see. Look here. Watch to see what comes into view of the screen as it goes by. There are three lights. Again, that's three or four times that I've showed you a triangular-ish formation. Well, it's not ish. It's pretty triangular. They're in triangular formation. We're literally looking at UFOs flying in triangular formation, and they are not traveling at extremely high speeds. But let me tell you, hang on, they're, they're traveling bloody fast. They're going faster than planes, that's for sure. Check it out here with the, the green filter. There they are again, coming into the screen, three of them together. And again, in particularly, in the formation of a triangle, right? Because that's how I've captured them all the time. 
at least four times I was able to show a triangular formation. I've showed one of them stationary, which you probably obviously remember under the hazes and clouds that I showed three lights in triangular formation, formation that appear. So check it out. There's a complete dark area here. We have bright spots on the surface and then all of a sudden we see a light appear. And it's not just a light. We'll move in a little closer and you're going to actually see it's maybe more than one light or one light actually turning itself uh, every which way on the surface. Again, I've showed that many times on the surface. This, again, with the 14-inch scope, imagine seeing lights move on the surface. At one point, people are going to catch on. Yeah, you get your sunglasses on. I know it's hard in the eyes. What do you want me to say? There's actually three there that you can't see it. We'll see it with a purple filter. Watch this. Now we're pretty, pretty close up. There's one going by on the left side. There's three in a row actually here, going all the way up where it's even into the white. Another small one there in the front. It looks like three uh, side by side in triangular formation, but there's another one coming in at the back. So this went by, you know, fast enough. But slowing it down, I was able to see it. Look at this other instant of a, uh, a similar event. Look at the three lights together. Triangular formation again. Could these be flying in formation? Triangular formation? Like, that's military formation. I don't care what anyone says. And then you say military formation. That's ridiculous. There's nothing on the moon. Now you have, yeah, are you kidding? There's full of structures all over the bloody moon. And the worst of it, I bet you there's even vegetation. I've seen what I think is vegetation in my own footage, you know, just saying it, just shooting that out there. I'm, I'm dead serious. Look at all these lines going in these dug out areas. Craters my ass. No craters that made any holes on the moon, that's for sure. Look at this. What, what's going on with these two lovebirds? Why are they detaching, right? That black object, let's go a little light. I mean, how many times have I showed that? Hundreds of times. That's what they do, the UFOs. They sh shoot out lights, right? There's that three lights on the bottom there. Watch this. I'm going to go see something special. This is on the sun, right? Um, like I said, sometimes it's hard to see the images, but I want to get close up to, to really show you what's going on. So obviously, the sun itself is the black ball inside of the bottom. That's all the light you're seeing and the heat, obviously, around it. And then... This giant object comes spiraling by, which I've showed before, but uh, probably I, I'd get in even closer. I've done it. I like seeing it really close, but I don't want to get too close because I know people are like, zoom out. But I've showed it zoomed out. Now I want to show it zoomed in. Just take a look at what's going by. At one point in 218 and 219, there were objects uh, in the solar system. There we are further out. The, the solar system was disturbed. Uh, NASA declared even at one point not that long ago that there were three unknown objects in the lower Earth atmosphere around Earth. So you're like, what the heck's going on? Then they talked about, you know, the neutron stars exploding and stuff. They're studying black holes. Do you understand that by studying the black holes, it's dangerous for a mad scientist, for example, if, if they're studying about black holes because they're going to know everything on how to create things and you know, create their own people and other worlds and stuff. I mean, obviously, it's already being done. I mean, I'm there. Anyways, in my head, that's for sure. Something coming out of the sun or a plane going by. I'm not going to fight with anybody, but let me tell you something. This plane had fire. And you say, oh, it's, it's the light refraction that makes it look like fire? Nope. At the beginning of this video, I showed you um, the fire before it hit the sun. And look at that clipped wing at the end. Back it up and you'll see that the wing um, raises upwards. But let me just say that NASA's spy plane was exactly like that. This is with a 14-inch telescope. There's something going down towards the surface of the moon that's on fire. Or there's a fire at the back, but check it out. I'm going to show you the large UFO beside it. And watch the way it appears. That's a, um, some type of ship or craft definitely floating in the atmosphere of the moon in the sky right over the moon like literally in the blue sky right does the moon have a blue sky around it why wouldn't it right why wouldn't it can it tell me you're looking at earth and you're seeing everything black and there's no blue sky and in, in, during the day on the moon of course there is that was fire coming out of a craft or something for my amazing community this channel wouldn't even exist Thanks 
a whole bunch, everyone. I really appreciate it. Slow disclosure is in progress. More information will be coming a lot more.